uh, it started when I had a motorcycle accident when I was 18 years old. Now 67, Robert Wershke still felt the results almost 50 years later. The catastrophic crash had left him with 23 breaks below his knee. This is an x-ray of his ankle taken last year. The ankle was more or less crushed and they, the doctors at the time told me that I would have a lot of problems later on in life and sure enough it, it came true. An active guy, an avid golfer, walking was always a pain. When it became uncontrollable, Robert took steps to fix the problem. That's when I called Dr. Nimitz and he came forth with the only permanent solution was to have my ankle fused. And you know, a patient really doesn't want to hear that. It, they, they really don't. When they're getting to the point of needing a fusion to begin with, they've lost so much of their motion. They may have a few degrees left, but it's mostly painful motion. And so what I tell them is I'm going to take away the pain and maybe stiffen the joint a few degrees more. There's a lot of misconceptions surrounding ankle fusion. People fear a total loss of mobility in the foot. Fact is there are three joints that affect motion. The other ones will compensate and provide some flexibility. So the foot can go up and down around that joint as well as side to side. Here's a view of Robert's ankle today. You do fix the, those two joints together with a series of screws. As you compress those joints together, you're trying to convince those two surfaces that they're actually a broken bone that they're going to heal to each other. And that's exactly what happened. In the months since, Robert has made great strides. Now he walks for the pure pleasure. Just simply going for a walk in the morning with my wife. I could actually walk 18 holes of golf now. It's just changed my life tremendously. Once he got over his stumbling block. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.